Hey guys, quick Claire's Charms here. I have like mini update and haul. I just want to show you this first. Oh, hold on a second. I got my cat here on my table. She ate this, but I thought it was funny. Come here. So I'm just gonna get her ready. Get her ready. Ready for my close up. I got my little cat a <laughs> Rudolph hat. They actually had this in the dollar store for cats to wear. And she kind of hates it, but she tolerates it. Like, you can kind of see her. She's probably going to run away and go take it off now. She kind of plays for a bit, and then she takes it off. So, yeah. <laughs> And then I went there and I got these these cute kitty cat stickers. I've never seen this brand at my dollar store before. So I got one for Venus Envy Girl and one for K Chaos Dakota. So that's gonna go in, in our uh, little packages that we've got going on. I know K Chaos Dakota we're gonna trade um, closer uh, after the holidays. I still have to get some stuff for you and make your offer video and stuff like that. And Venus and Vigo, we just, I think I'm just making a buddy box for her now. <laughs> and she wants me to get her some stuff from the dollar store. So, I was on a budget today, so I only got a couple of things. So I'm getting ready for my Christmas stuff. And then I got, like, these chipboard stickers and all different designs to uh, make Christmas cards with because that's what I do. Because we uh, we have well, we don't have my fiance's family has a Christmas Eve party and, and to offset the cost of buying everybody a gift when there's like a whole bunch of people there. We make them stuff because we're poor students and that's our life. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I made. So I made this um, kind of Christmas rectangle tile. You can see it says Merry Christmas and it's a very shiny and sparkly. Um, and then I made two Hello Kitty heads. There's a white one with a purple bow and a black one with a purple bow. And uh... Then I finally got a Christmas tree out of the mold. Okay, I'm going to do a little review. I don't know if anybody else bought this Christmas tree mold from Young Kinsem, but I got it. And um, the first time I did it, I did it in layers like I did little colored dots. And then I did like, um, like uh, this stuff. This stuff in 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 for the the, the like this garland, and then I laid a back layer of green. And I was impatient. I put it in the freezer, and I was impatient to get it out, and it broke. So you really have to let it cure. I let it cure, you know, however long we should, and then. If this is the mold, right? I pushed down on these middle parts first and then started pushing the other parts out. It's you have to be very, very careful. That's a tip that I would have be very, very careful. But when you do get it out, it looks amazing. Like this looks amazing. It's got holographic glitter in the background and some green and purple. It's real, like, um. non-traditional Christmas tree, but this is for a friend, and she's sort of like non-traditional, but I thought it was really nice, so yeah, I'd just be careful when, when taking it out of this mold. I wish maybe it was a little, it'd be cool if it was like a little taller, and that these weren't complete cutouts, like they're cool that they're complete cutouts, but like I said, 
I broke the first one I did. So I'd be careful. And then I also did some domes. Yeah, I only did four. So there's this one. This one's really cute. And then there's this one. This is one of the Christmas gifts. It looks so cute. And then I put this little red chain so it kind of hangs like that. And then this one, which is one of my favorites. So nice. This is what I did with the glitter in the background. I wish it'd show up better. Maybe if I bring it into the light. Into the light. Somewhat. Anyways. It's really cool. I used some Martha Stewart glitter. I used the, um, the fluorescent purple and the sugar plum purple. And then I mixed in some of this holographic glitter and it came out really pretty. This is also a gift. And then this one is my favorite, favorite, favorite of all of them. This is snowman. And I mean the white glitter here kind of turned bluish when I put in the blue cellophane. But it's so pretty. Like you can't even really tell. Like there's a blue cellophane in the back, but there's also the regular cellophane. So it's like super shimmery, super sparkly. It's gorgeous. I love this. And of course, it's one of um, the gifts that I'm giving away. So I'll have to take a photograph of that before I give it away. So that's it for the domes. And then I made this. Um, with the cold lens ice cubes. And I put the fake plastic ice cubes in there. But then I put glitter in the back. So it shows up, but it doesn't show up. But it looks kind of like if you were to take a lid off of a fountain drink. It looks kind of like that. So I like the way it came out. Um, there's another hat. And then I just did this heart randomly. It came out really pretty. You can't. There's like blue, green, pink, yellow, but it all kind of melts together, which it looks really nice. Also, put some cellophane in there to give it extra sparkle. This is just random. I don't know if I'm going to give it to anybody or not, but I really liked it. And then I did a whole bunch of my terms and I glazed them with resin. This one came out like so fancy. Oh, well, there's a part at the side you can tell it didn't get glazed, but. And then it made this funky lip on the bottom, but that's okay. Only like if I was to give this to somebody else who did resin, they'd be like, oh, this isn't, this isn't like the best piece that you could do. But if I gave this to somebody that's never done resin, they'd be really impressed. So I like this. This is really cute. <sighs> That's it. And then I did some domes. I did this dome. And then I did this Angry Birds dome and made it into a keychain for my fiance. I don't think he's actually going to put it on his keys, though. We'll see. And then this is somebody in the comments. I think it was Ivana OK had this idea. I'm just trying to. Get better light, yep. And I painted some camo and then I added a green layer and a black layer. Let's see in there. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I think that's all the Christmasy stuff that I have. And then I have these, these ornament hangers. This is the Snowman. That's how they'd hang in the tree, right? So I have this. I 
this snowman and snowflake and I glazed all these with red them as well after I painted them this one and then this guy with the blue scarf and I have these trees all the trees look the same I have three of each because that's how many the mold has But yeah, that's my little update. Other than that, I've just been working to get Christmas stuff done. And everything. I also made this. It was kind of a fail. Oh, and there's an ice cream. That was also kind of a fail. I just don't like how the top came out. It was kind of splotchy. Because I didn't wait long enough between layers. That I had a really nice one. And then I made some holographic lips. I had a really nice one. I think it got thrown out. Because I took it out, put it in the freezer, took it out. And I was going like this, I was like, look, 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 Psh, drops on the floor and breaks in half. I'm like, no! Yeah. I just wanted to try this mold out because it's a mold I haven't used yet. But that's it. That's it. And my desk is a total mess right now. So I've been working at it. This is like all my card making stuff. I only made like why well, I made three cards. I'll show you the cards I made those. This one. This is this one. Take them all out. This one and this one. Yeah. So I hope you liked everything I did. And uh, comment. Yeah. And uh, I said I'd send the person who gave me the idea of this. And if you want it, I'll send it to you. So yeah, I'm going to get back to the grind and do everything else. I just thought I'd update you. Okay, bye.